there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh, man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this is just... God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. Brilliant! Is it? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself? Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capard station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Uh, actually, I've been with Jonas kind of all night, so if anyone wants to switch up the batting order, I wouldn't exactly be... Yeah, obviously Alex is getting, or has been, sick of me for a while now, so for civility's sake... Don't be like that, Jonas. Come on. I'm just... I don't... <sighs> it's just that I've been staring at your face so much, I'm gonna be dreaming about clawing your eyes out tomorrow. What? That's a thing? Jesus, maybe we should split up. No, no, this is fine. I mean, why mess with success, right? All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me, I won't want to know. Ha, uh, we won't.
Alex. Alex, okay. Are you... Are you back to normal? I just saw... It, it, it was like a premonition, I think. And I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay. Just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I can't let that matter right now. Ren, look, I just know he needs me. I mean, me seeing him in trouble must mean he's, like, actually in trouble, right? Not really. I think it's just an effect of the, uh, possession or something. Like, look, when I went under, I saw, but not really, you on a beach with a battleship. Oh, is that really what you saw when you were possessed? Yeah, and I'm sure when it happened to him, Ren saw his own weird stuff too, so I don't know, but I think he's okay. Let's keep on to the station. We can talk to him from there anyway. <laughs> no, look, it kind of made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Because if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. You're supposed to be yellow brick roading it to the wood station right about now. Ren, are you doing okay? Like, you haven't almost drowned or anything in the last hour, or... No, fit as a fiddle. Well, like a fiddle you'd find in someone's damn shed or something. You know, kind of warped, looks a okay. little... satisfied? Can we go now? Okay, but just, like, be careful, you two, okay? Careful. Definitely will do. Check, double check. Okay, well, it's been fun catching up, kids. We'll go do our half of the fix the ghost problem equation now. All right. See you after, at the bomb shelter. This is the Sentry, sculpted by Lieutenant Peter Hasbro. It was installed here in 1979 to remind all...
You know what time it is? It's four in the morning. Which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually in uh, that situation? Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting 11 in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? Yes. Uh, undoubtedly. Without doubt. Absolutely, it's gonna work. Well, I'm glad you're confident. Cause I just have this feeling like these ghosts aren't really concerned. I just feel like they're pretty confident. Like they know by sunrise they're all gonna be shopping for school supplies. Jonas, they should be concerned. They should be scared. And that's on them if they're not. All right, good to hear. I think this um, stuff is getting pulled in from like their time or something. This is so weird. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a good omen. I think we're running out of runway here. I guess Maggie was the one who had this place turned into a park. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works. She thinks that the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead?